I am the Wolf Man here at Barefoot Bushcraft coming to you today to talk to you about a really cool product. Of course, if you love K bar knives, then you may love the K bar whistle. So, this little whistle here is designed to look just like a K bar knife. They look kind of similar. Love it. Uh, so, let's take a closer look at this and uh, see some of its pros and cons and test it out and uh, just uh, see if it's a good product for you. So we have here a uh, decibel meter, and as I'm talking, you can see it's starting to register 70, 80, whatever. It's a fairly noisy environment where I am. So this here, again, is the Peeless Fox Forder. They are designed and built in Canada, used by lifeguards, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna blow into it, and you're gonna check out here the decibel meter and see what its rating is. So it goes well up over 100. Uh, let's try one more time. 112, something like that. So that's kind of our control group. That is what uh, a high-end uh, P-less whistle sound like. Again, used by lifeguard, people like that. Here is the, the K-bar whistle. Let's see what that sounds like. Again, it's kind of plasticky, uh, just like the Fox 40. Uh, it's interesting to note, of course, that this is not a knife of any kind. See, I can take it, I can try to saw at myself with it, and that it doesn't have any kind of cutting edge on it whatsoever. Uh, really good, I guess, if you're having this on your gear, you wouldn't want to have a knife on a zipper or someplace where you can hurt yourself. But uh, just as a side note, that it, it, it won't cut. So let's give the K-bar whistle a try. So the K-bar whistle comes in, in and around about 100 decibels, so a little bit less than the, uh, than the Fox 40. Let's try again. So not quite as loud in that respect, but uh, it's still loud enough. So we have a little bit of water here. We're gonna take our K-bar whistle, we're gonna drop it in the water. Sometimes you never know when you're gonna end up in water, either voluntarily or involuntarily. We're gonna take our P-less Fox 40 whistle. We're gonna make sure it's completely submerged in the water. Again, you never know when you're gonna end up in the water. Canoe trips, something like that. And uh, you need to call out because you need rescuing. So let's make sure it's completely submerged there in the water. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take our decibel meter right here for you, and you can see that. Let's try to prop it up a little bit so you can see it. So there we go. So right now it's reading, you know, 60, 70. Uh, again, I'm talking, so of course I'm really noisy and loud, so you can hear that. So let's take the Fox 40 first out of the water here, and uh, can actually make sure it's completely submerged. I'm gonna pull it out and use it while it's wet just to make a point uh, of how these things work. See, so easily broke 110 decibels on that bad boy right there. Let's try the K-bar again. We're gonna shake it around, make sure it's good and wet, and there's water in it when I start to stick it right in the blowhole. All right. So the K-bar a little slow to start, as you could hear, it sounded a little drowny, but it got up there, it got up over, uh, of a, over 100 decibels when I pushed on it. Just a quick little demonstration here of the all new K-bar emergency whistle that came out in, uh, in early 2020. Really cool little thing. Again, it's not a knife. It won't cut you at all, no matter how much I push. Maybe I could stab myself with it. Uh, but you never know when you actually need to carry a whistle. So it's really important that you have a whistle on you, either on a zipper pull or on your car keys. So you'll almost always have your car keys with you. Even on a, a backpack strap is a good place for a whistle because what could happen Happen is at any time you could fall into a crevasse or put yourself in harm's way that yelling like going help help after a couple of minutes your voice is going to get very hoarse and you're not going to be able to to scream for very long or for very loud um, there's a case right here and I'll put a little headline there of a lady in a park in uh, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and she was out in the park and slipped into uh, a, a cave crack, fell in there, and she was stuck there all night. So she had to literally spend the night in this cave uh, at, because no one could hear her cries for help. Had she had a whistle, 
she could have pick, taken it off her pack or wherever she had, if she could reach it and start blowing it. And I can guarantee you someone is going to hear it. You know, the international symbol for uh, emergency rescue with the whistle is three long blasts. right up to 10 seconds in length each blast should be the same length that lets people know I'm in trouble and someone needs to come and 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 look into this so very cool little whistle they come in packs of two uh, you can put them on you know keychains and all that the only thing I could see possibly happening is maybe right there over time that piece might break off but if you like K-Bar knives, which of course I do, and you have the K-Bar knife, why not get the whistle to go along with it? Just a cool little tool, at least you have a whistle. Better than having nothing at all, you know, if you don't like the look of the Fox 40, or you just want something really cool and really unique dangling off your backpack, it's pretty awesome. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman for Barefoot Bushcraft. Stay cheeky-breaky.